like to introduce to you our school's project, Urban Aquaponics Farming. The objectives of the aquaponics system in our school are first, to emphasize the importance of modern and sustainable food production system. Second, to help preserve current environment conditions and conserve resources. Third, to develop pupils' entrepreneurial skills and cultivate innovation abilities. Four, to implement the culture of fine art, which is retain, recycle, reduce, reuse, and refuse. First, the fish in the fish tank produces waste, which contains ammonia. The ammonia, if remain in the tank for a long period of time, will become harmful to the fish and eventually lead to their death. However, this wastewater from the fish is actually an extremely valuable fertilizer source to plants. The wastewater from the fish tank flows into the biofilter. There are microbes in the biofilter that grows on the bioballs. The microbes will convert the ammonia into nitrates, then into nitrates. The water that contains nitrates flows to the grow beds. The vegetables will absorb the nutrients in the water through their roots and at the same time purify the wastewater. Did you know? Nitrate is readily absorbed by plant root and it is the form of nitrogen most used by plants for growth. Finally, the clean water in the planting system flows back to the fish tank and the cycle repeating. We started the rainwater harvesting system since year 2019. The rainwater harvested in the tank will supply the fish tank in the aquaponic system. As a result of using rainwater in our aquaponic system, we have successfully practiced water conservation and safe water. Thus, we refuse using tap water. The ideal pH for aquaponics is between 6.8 to 7.2, while the ideal temperature range is 17 to 34 degrees Celsius. Any lower or higher pH in the system will cause unwanted disease and fishy will eventually die. High water temperature will cause heat stress for the plants. Another notable outcome of our urban farming project is that we have successfully produced different types of vegetables. We have resilient spinach, hot choy, lettuce, tomatoes, okra, and also bitter gut. Other than just learning science, innovation, and applying technology in our project, the experience also helped develop our entrepreneur skills. We harvest the vegetables and fish, then sell them to our parents and teachers. We refuse single-use plastics, so we are using recycled paper bags when we are selling vegetables. Each pack of healthy vegetables is sold at 3 ringgit, while the fish is only 30 ringgit each.